Hello everyone. So today I'm going to do a quick uh, sharpness uh, walkthrough in the Lightroom just to show you some one by one like one 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 to one ratio and uh, this is the first picture I'm going to show and uh, I'm using the IAF uh, function. If you haven't seen the video, you can check out my previous video. Previous two video are, uh, were shot uh, using the f1.2 i shot everything at wide open f1.2 35 mm and one over 1000 per second iso 100 so as you can see that in the this is a73 so it's not a7r4 from the week before so i just rendered this lens only so it's pretty sharp uh, the iaf nailed on the eyeball already and all this um uh, surrounding is pretty sharp as well. So go to the next picture. Let's try it. Yeah, it's pretty sharp and you can see the fall of uh, a little bit even in this close distance uh, f1.2. So it's nailed on this uh, IAF um, automatically. Uh, so it's sharp for me. And let's do another one. Yep, it is pretty sharp and you can see the slowly fall off to the bokeh area from this side as well so this is how the 1.2 and you can see that it fall off a little bit here and let's check one so this is the raw file ARW and let's check this one it is sharp so this is 1.1 one, one. let's do 4.1 um, the thing I noticed uh, because uh, one one is the because it's 24 megapixel uh, usually in the a7 r4 last week uh, it's still very sharp but 41 is too close for the full body to zoom in so usually so I'm just doing one one right now and most of the cases if you post on Instagram it is good enough already and it's pretty sharp. Uh, I'm using the IAF and, and she's uh, walking toward this side and then it just nailed the focus and it freezes the uh, action 1 over 2000 per second and then 35 mm f 1.2 ISO 100. So let's do another one. This one I edited already um, but um, you can see that it's still in focus for this one. Let's do some one with the back lights. So let's go out. Inspect couple one that with the back light. I know the back light one um, because of the lighting is still very good because you can see that. Um, let me go out a little bit. So I'm I'm doing the field right now. So you can see is on the eyes and then slowly fall to into the bokeh area so this is the bokeh area and then if i'm going to one to one ratio it's still very sharp on the eyes and then these eyes will blur a little bit in between this um so this is about not the full body about th uh three fourths of a body so and this one so one one it's pretty sharp here and overall so i'm pretty uh happy about the results of the iaf uh, using this sigma lens it acts like very uh, feels like uh the autofocus uh, is very native to the sony i think they might have a collaboration team just uh, make sure that it's like it's working good on the sony full frame cameras and let's do another one yep so these are all IAF uh, as you can see in the previous video I'm just zooming in for you to see these results and oh sorry uh, the silly just uh, activated let's grab another one that is in the video so I have another one that is in the video and so you it's still sharp but the um i think the iso is 1000 you can see the noise uh, started already yep 
so it's still very sharp on this side and then it blurs out on this side so let me go to another shoot uh, with Losina this one I also use uh, I'm just give you a couple example of the sharpness so it's still pretty sharp here and the bokeh so this one ARW and then the bokeh it has the like olive shape uh, like the football shape and it's very sharp uh, this lens is very sharp in here um, so I'm just doing uh, giving you a quick look on this this one is not as sharp as the one that are closest so some of them are let me double check yep some of them are not as sharp but overall the feel is good for the environment portraits yep this one is very sharp so it depends on how shaky it is even even with the internal stabilization sometimes in the indoor shots uh, it's not as sharp on the eyes let's check this one yep uh, so and then the full body one let's do the one one yep it's pretty good uh, you can see it's nice uh, clear and sharp to me and this is the a7 III also yeah a7 III and let's do the flower uh, sh uh, market one I like this uh, flower market ones so this one thank you a lot for the support and why it's still loading yep it's pretty sharp this one and then I have another one the flower market yep it's right on the eyes uh, so I'm using all the IAF auto IAF and yeah uh, overall I'm pretty impressed uh, with the uh, Sigma f1.2 and I know the Canon is coming out with the 35mm f1.2 RF lens as well I will rent out um, for two days once it comes out early 2020 and I'm starting to rent more over the weekends uh, from the next couple weeks just uh, to give more content provide more content and um, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos coming up. Bye.